wasn't going to do this video. I had a little comedy video planned. Comedy video laughing at society, laughing at how insane things are, laughing at how crazy people are, laughing at how terrible things are, pointing and laughing. But no, I decided to pull over. I've got a feeling that this is the right thing to do. And I'll tell you why. I mean, the last time was as a very private person. I decided to share some of the shit that I'd been through. And some of the shit that helped me get out of that. And it turns out from that, last time I did that, a lot of you said, shit. <laughs> I can resonate with that. And uh, ended up, you know, doing the right thing for a lot of people. So here we are again. What's this about? It's a turning point because I recognize there's a certain pattern. There's a pattern of behavior. And I've always been good at recognizing patterns of behavior in other people mostly. You know, as, as, a, as a coach and just being interested in that sort of stuff. And yet when it comes to holding a fucking mirror up to yourself we're not so good at that are we things like egos tend to get in the way or the idea of privacy or the idea of hating people or the idea of trying to get through shit and i've been noticing probably for a while a bit of a pattern a bit of a spiral certainly these last couple of years where even though we might not recognize it, fear permeates. Fear is used as a tool. Fear insidiously. And it gets us acting in certain ways. It gets us doing certain things, not doing certain things. We put ourselves into a little comfort zone that ain't so comfortable. I don't even like that term because comfort zones ain't fucking comfortable. And now it's time to go to fucking war with yourself. Now it's time to recognize these patterns. And here's the main one for me. And if this resonates with you, I'm glad I pulled over. Things want to sweep you in. Environment. The news, the media, people. It's like a vacuum. And along with fear, and along with the tools, and along with the mentality and mindset that these things create, it drags you in. It drags you in. And before you know it, you're in a little comfort zone that ain't so comfortable, or you're living in more fear than you realize you are. And you start to follow some behavioral patterns yourself. Maybe you start to glare a little bit more. Maybe you start to hate a little bit more. Maybe you start to resent a little bit more. Get jealous a little bit more. And how, well, you know, things don't mean anything anyway. So, hey, uh, fuck that. Fuck that.